sponsored by Amec Farms. Welcome in everybody to the Sun Belt Conference Tournament. Montgomery, Alabama, Taylor Corrette and Scott Kirk here. What a day this was. A lot to unpack here. Southern Miss plays two baseball games today. Of course, falling to Appalachian State in the morning, setting up a must-win situation in the afternoon. And the guy to talk about really at the start of things is Will Armistead. What an afternoon he had for Southern Miss. Oh, my goodness. He absolutely stepped up on the mound. Backs were against the wall for the Golden Eagles. It was really just a tale of two games. In game one against the Mountaineers, the Golden Eagle offense, only four hits, and the pitching staff giving up 12 to the Mountaineers. Well, Will Armistead comes in in game two, absolutely takes over. Old school. Only three strikeouts, but no earned runs. He went the distance. He was completely dominant, and his mentality on the mound, well, it shows when he's at the podium. I don't really visualize like the opponent or they're kind of nameless and faceless to me. And I like to think that the burden of success is placed upon me solely when I'm on the mound. That if I want to succeed, it's in my ability to execute my stuff, which I like to believe is good. He just gets in, himself in a, in, a, in a zone where he just kind of blocks everything out. And his, his stuff is really good. And uh, he's, he's been able to pound the zone and, and mix those pitches. So real proud of what he was able to do. Real proud of what our offense was. I mean, it's cool seeing some of your best friends go out there and just succeed and do good and just go out there when they get a big hit and they're just smiling and kind of jump around the bases. So that definitely helps us, helps the energy in the dugout. And uh, yeah, definitely feeds off each other. And of course, the batters talking about how Armistead's day encouraged them at the plate. Different story in the second game. Southern Miss with 15 hits as a team, all across the lineup, contributing as well. And Coach Scott Berry has talked about, you know, guys like Armistead, different pitchers in the past. Tanner Hall, Justin Storm have just stepped up in these big moments in must-win games. He says, why does that keep happening here at Southern Miss? Well, it all comes down to a tradition they have to just win. I just think it's winning. You win. You know, and you continue to win year after year, and it just it just teaches itself to your players. And, and every one of those scenarios of, of storm last year, the guys that, that were there remember what happened last year and, and they start believing. You know, we've, one thing we've been able to do is have that consistency in our program of getting where we are. To, you know, this is not new getting to a title game tomorrow. I mean, this is who we are. This is who we've been for quite a while now. We missed it last year at our own place, but we're, we're this is where we're supposed to be, and the moment is, is set for us to, to go out for the opportunity. Now it's up to us to, to take care of the opportunity and, and meet that challenge. Yeah, and Taylor, one thing to note as well with Coach Barry, I think he chose the right jersey number, number 40. Well, today's win against App State, 40th of the year for the Golden Eagles. That's now seven straight years that the baseball program has done that. Coach Barry, of course, it's his send-off, but, man, he's making a loud exit so far. Absolutely, and if they want to get to 41 wins, tomorrow, of course, the Sun Belt Championship will be at 1 o'clock. Southern Miss doesn't know who they play yet. It'll be the winner of Louisiana and Coastal Carolina who are playing as we speak.